Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to show you how to detect underconsumption problems using Confluent Control Center. Now, I'm using the Control Center demo on GitHub. We've got that in Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. Now, there's a whole separate video showing you how to get this set up. You should watch that video and follow along with all the steps. Get everything going. Um, everything's in nice Docker containers, and it's all pretty easy to get running on your laptop so you can follow along with the steps that I'm doing here. Highly recommended that you do that. Underconsumption can happen for a few reasons. It can happen intentionally when a consumer stops for some period of time, and then an operator changes the consumer offsets to the latest offset and then restarts the consumer. And that would be skipping some period of messages. That avoids the delayed processing or the, the bulk processing of all those messages that were produced while the consumer was stopped. And that might be the real thing to do when applications are real time and they have tight latency requirements and it's okay if you skip some messages. Just depends on the semantics of your data. If you make that trade-off of losing messages in order to buy down that processing latency, this is a perfectly fine thing to do. Underconsumption can also happen unintentionally with a misbehaving consumer, which maybe isn't committing offsets properly. Now that's a little far-fetched for one of the standard clients for C++ or Go or Python or Java, uh, but it's definitely a theoretical possibility in the general case. Maybe you're developing your own consumer, uh, maybe it's one that just doesn't have a lot of miles on it and possibly has a bug there. So this is potentially a real world scenario. Now we're using Kafka Connect, which is using a very stable Java client. And so it's not gonna under consume. We're gonna have to simulate this problem. We're gonna do that using Kafka's consumer offset reset tool to set the offset of a consumer group to the latest offset after having stopped the consumer for a little bit, thereby skipping all the messages uh, after the last committed offset before we shut down. Those poor messages will just never be read. Now, let's look in uh, Control Center here in the Streams Monitoring view. We can drill down into Streams Monitoring by consumer group or by topic. Now, let's scroll down and look at the consumer group called App. Uh, that's the consumer group that we'll be playing around with in this exercise. We can drill down even further and look at each consumer within the consumer group if we would like. This particular consumer group has two consumers, Consumer App 1 and Consumer App 2. They're consuming from a topic called Wikipedia Parsed, which has two partitions, famously named 0 and 1. Now, there's nothing wrong with our demo app at all. As I said, it's just not under consuming, so we're gonna need to break it. Uh, let's go stop the consumer first, and just for fun, uh, I'm gonna stop it ungracefully. Now, the ungraceful stop is a kill minus nine. It prevents the consumer from following the shutdown sequence and just terminates the process. I should explain, the reason we're stopping it at all is that we have to in order to be able to run the offset reset tool. Uh, that tool only works on stopped consumers. So while the consumer is stopped, let's go back to Control Center to see what it tells us about the situation. Notice this red bar. I guess we would hope to see something red with our application now apparently broken. It tells us that the expected consumption during this period is 339 messages because that's how many were produced in that one minute time window. Now, there's, remember, there's nothing wrong with the producer here. It's the consumer that stops. So the producer is still plugging away, producing messages into the topic. But it says only 313 messages were consumed by this consumer group. The remaining 26 messages in this case were produced, but we stopped the consumer group before it had a chance to process them. Hence the red bar. If we scroll down to see the individual consumers within the consumer group, we see that they reflect the same thing. That's good news. The world seems to be fitting together here, even in this failure scenario. Now, as an operator who doesn't want to look at the control center tab all of the time, like if you wanted to be notified if this happened again in the future, you could set up an alert to trigger if consumption didn't match expected consumption. So after a few minutes, Control Center will put up a herringbone pattern indicating that the data from this period is in question. We shut down in gracefully, so Control Center stopped receiving metrics very suddenly. It had to let a little bit of time elapse to be able to conclude for sure that the broker had gone down and come back up. And hey, the consumer has been stopped for a little while now. The producers were still writing to the topic Wikipedia parsed, so it had probably accumulated a lot of data. We wanna restart the consumer group but we don't want to incur the time to reprocess all the data we missed. And based on the semantics of our data and our application, we say it's okay to just skip it. So we are gonna intentionally force it to underconsume by using the Kafka offset reset tool to reset offsets to the latest offset at the moment. 
And we're doing this, again, as a contrived failure simulation. But in some domains, this is entirely appropriate behavior to say, hey, you were down for a little bit. It's okay. Don't worry. Just pick up where things are right now and leave the intervening data on the floor. Now, we restart the consumer group and both consumers, consumer app one and consumer app two, will come back up. On startup, these two will poll the brokers for messages. This is how Kafka works. Brokers will then look up consumer offsets for this consumer group, which have now been reset to the latest offset value based on whatever has been produced. That is, we've fast forwarded to the end of the topic. And then the brokers will begin returning records at that offset. That is, the consumer group will underconsume this topic. Back in Control Center, it's waiting to receive the Confluent Metrics data on the consumer group. During the time period that the consumer group app was not running, no produced messages are shown as delivered because the offsets had been reset. All the bars in that period are flat. This first bar shows red and in fact will remain red because the consumer group was started in the middle of this time window after some messages had already been produced. That's just going to show as underproduced, which is the correct result there. And there you have it. Control Center clearly highlights period of unconsumed messages. These might be an indication of a broken consumer not handling offsets properly, or might be an intentional strategy to avoid incurring the cost of processing past data. In either case, Control Center tells you what you need to know.